Hello my sweet YouTubers, I hope you're all fine and doing absolutely fabulous. Welcome to my channel. And today we are here to talk about eyeliner. Wow, look at this. Look at this. If you didn't see the video, I show the entire process of this makeup. Just check the info box or the cards. Well, let's talk about eyeliner. So, my relation with eyeliner, it's a long, long one. I think it dates when I was very, very young and I started watching Bewitched. And you know, Andorra, you probably know her. Andorra for me was the first character that I loved. I really loved it. For me, her looks, her makeup, it was something that I should never forget. When I started doing drag in 2005, I mean really doing drag as a professional artist, I started, you know, looking for a character. How should I be as a drag? And the first thing that I had in mind already was eyeliner. And of course, talking about eyeliner and how I grew up watching Bewitched, Endora was my inspiration. So I started I started, you know, doing the makeup with my friends, with my drag mother, and they were teaching me how to do their makeup, you know, the basic drag makeup. And with time, I knew that something was missing. First, the hip pads, also the first thing that I noticed, but talking about makeup was eyeliner. Little by little, I started to add some eyeliner. And then I found inspirations because I was doing shows in places that I was really far from the public so people they couldn't see us very well so I started to do all techniques artists were using in the theaters opera ballet dancers also were using this technique that means we go back to Endora because she already had something like that you know very long eyeliner under the waterline another line and white in between them to make your eyes from far visible if you know what i mean and of course i do a lot of research and another eyeliner that i did love was divine divine makeup was something that i really really appreciated you know the way she was building the eyes with this liner as you can see here long eyeliner in this kind of cut crease that is really really amazing and um, you know this was kind of inspiration also for, for me now going to Hollywood I would say that also Vivian Lee I am a big fan of Vivian Lee and she had a lot of beautiful makeup because she was also an actress working a lot with theater and um, as you can see she had beautiful makeup and she was always using this technique of making the eyes big because she was on stage she was in theaters and people had to see her watch her from really really far and it's you know it's more or less like dancers ballet dancers also and opera singers now talking about something more modern of course a lot of queens especially the young queens for example they do watch a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race. Once again, my darlings, I don't have anything against RuPaul's Drag Race. Because some people, they do think I don't like it. And I'm gonna tell you right now what goes on with me and RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't watch it a lot because, you know, you have to find the links or you have to pay to watch it. And I cannot do it right now. So sometimes, from time to time, since the first seasons, I've watched some seasons when I had the opportunity to be with friends, they had these links that you could see it. A lot of queens, especially the young ones, they do believe that all the queens from RuPaul's Drag Race, what they do is the law and they create it. And I don't think this is right, because those techniques of makeup, they are very, very old like this line also under the eye Marilyn Monroe was using a lot faking the little smile on the face um, on the lips, I'm sorry it's Marilyn's also technique 
So you see, there are lots of things that are very, very old and that the girls from RuPaul's Drag Race brought them to the light, which I think it's great. They even brought a lot of old stars from the 30s, 40s, and this is amazing. But don't think that what they do, what goes on now in drag, it's something new. No, it's old. In fact, it's very old. So that's why I did this makeup today. I did the video and I show everything. Please don't forget to check the description box. I decided to do this makeup because I, I do it a lot, this kind of makeup. Cut crease and long eyeliner in another line under the eyes. I did it especially for this video because I really felt like talking about that because a lot of people they ask me questions what's your inspirations where do you get inspirations for your makeup and I decided to do this video to tell you where I find them another kind of makeup that I love is you know the old Barbies from the 60s they had gorgeous makeup and you could see already this black line as an eyeliner that gave this very dramatic look in this cat look as you can see this is they are all dolls from the 60s and if you pay attention a lot of queens today's queens they look like that but if you think who created that I would believe that the first ones were the Barbies isn't it so that's it. It's just a little video to show you and to tell you what kind of makeup I look for inspirations and where I got ideas for my makeup. Okay. Now, I would love to hear from you. I would love to know what's your kind of makeup, your favorite eyeliner, where do you find inspirations? Tell me, maybe you know a beautiful drag queen that you want to share with us? Drop me a line here, leave me a message, and let's start a conversation. Okay, my darlings? So that's it for today. I do hope you like this look. You know, I even found this kind of Endora's look because I want to bring something vintage Endora's touch. Samantha! <laughs> okay, my darlings, that's it for today. If you are new here, is it your first time here? Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Because doing that, each time I post a video, you're going to be the first one to know about it. Now, if you really like this video, thumb it up, please. It's a very, very, very simple gesture, but it helps me a lot. If you didn't like it, turn it down, but do something. Because reacting with my videos, helps me anyway all right but if you love this video why not share it with the planet that's it for today my darlings i hope you did enjoy this video please now don't forget to play safe stay safe and be positive because everything is going to be all right love you very much see you very very soon bye